Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Casa de la Tierra, our franchise zoo and we are in episode number 7. 7 is my favorite number for those of you who don't know and uh, today's episode might be the first one actually without a cut. Um, the main reason is because we're going to do the reptile house and I'm quite uh, confident that we might be able to do this without. But, you know, let's just start um, and do it. So we have quite a huge amount of money. We have a good backstage area available in here, which we can use to make this reptile house. And it's going to be sitting over here. Um, before we start, I definitely want to make sure that we do a little bit of a path design um, before we actually go in. Now, therefore, I have a lot of great uh, blueprints uh, which we're going to use and this episode is um, completely and to 100% um, down to Mr. Haribo who just oh god this this dude just gave so many awesome things now this is one of the things uh, he sent in one of the archways um, this is the sphere but um, I'm not going to use the sphere this one is going to be used somewhere else you saw them but these are the ones I wanted to use over here so this is kind of cool um, they look absolutely amazing amazing uh, i'm gonna put them just quickly here i think they are yeah i knew that um so this is going to be um one of these things i'm going to use not as an archway for the path but actually as an entrance piece and then we're going to use um this one over here as kind of the archway to get in so we're going to use this over here as little entrance i want to do it at a point where it doesn't sink in too much like so, okay, that's it. And we're going to use this again on this side. Mm, it goes a bit higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this up with some uh, foliage and stuff down below. That will be doable, I guess. So I'm gonna put this here. Awesome. And then I'm gonna take this one and bring that over to this side. I just like this design so much that I wanted to carry that through. So I'm gonna have this here. Um, these ones I'm going to just quickly delete for the moment. Oh, there are single ones. Um, yeah, well, no, just let's delete them this way and then if I remember correctly there should be one more archway design even from Haribo uh, if I did download this one yeah there we go this is the planted archway there you go look at these wonderful things and I want to make uh, this middle one is absolutely freaking awesome um, but this is something I wanted to use um, in the front yeah, as I said I wanted to make myself uh, or the, not limit to what you guys sent me. I want to also tweak things according to my liking and this is my liking actually to use it over here Just playing a bit around with it um, And then we're going to use this like so okay. This is it now before we start doing more stuff. I want to make sure that we um, Yeah, start with the main uh, path design. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that we don't have too many uh, things at once um, uh, next to each other because people will stand there and yeah it's gonna be very interesting so this is the reason I wanted to first of all start with the basic design uh, let's do this and then also just kind of like that I don't want to make it too big you know it should be just very small um, I think that's what I want to go for and then we have that one and now we're just going to create this. Uh, yeah, that should be this pathing. Path we're going to have a connection over here and a connection over here. So one goes without. Wait, is that going to be? No one needs. All right. So in order to make sure that this doesn't happen, I'm just going to try to build a little bit further in here. Yeah, there you go. We're going to delete this again. Don't worry about this. I really hope that I can delete the connection without actually destroying the whole plaza thing. Oh, well, I do destroy the whole plaza thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I could put a lot of bins in here in order to make this not traversable. I think that should be the idea to use. But yeah, first of all, let's go with this. Um, that should be the basic design. And uh, can I somehow... I think it would work if I just put down a lot of these bins down here just to make sure that they do not go through here as of now because I just want to make sure that I can build without having people around yeah that should be fine I think they should not be able to go here and then uh, let's do these small exhibits what's going on here oh animal is stressed that will be gone in a second they should be able to be not stressed all the time okay so facilities uh, there you go this is the small exhibit yeah no I don't want to have it connected to this side though let's just bring that in 
Well, we could also put one in the middle, or two in the middle, actually. Um, how do we do this? Like, I want to make this bigger. Yeah, let's put one here. One here. One here. I'm going to pause the game quickly. One here. The other one goes here. And then we, we are kind of good in the middle, which is great. So, putting one there. And now we need to, yeah, we need to get rid of some of the paths, path designs here. I just want to make sure that they're not connected. This is awesome. We don't need to connect them. And then let's see that we can bring in one more to this side over here. Why would you even connect in there? This does not make any sense, okay? So here we go. Just delete this thing. Awesome. Now this is the basic uh, design of the habitats and this is for a very good reason. I'm going to show you with the design. I really hope that it works out the way I, I plan it to work out. You know what, we just keep the game on pause for a second because um, it's important that we design the habitat first. Now let's go. <clears throat> it's tropical. I think I can, I think I can use the Okay, we have to see the wall sets. Okay, we do have some swooping bamboo walls and therefore I'm gonna use them. That's great. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky. I really hope that I get this done in the way I wanted it to. Um, yeah, we can do it that way. And then also, let's just rotate this around and bring that into this area. There we go. Just even more rotation. There you go. Just fit in here. Even more rotation. Uh, that's basically it. Let me just see if that looks good. I wonder if I can somehow do this with the design without actually making two buildings out of it. Let me just quickly check. Uh, because I'm a bit, bit lazy, okay? I'm lazy. So don't judge me. I'm lazy. Now, putting them into each other like so. Does this work? Well, that's even better. Even though <clears throat> I wonder, can I, I think it might be better to just do it like so and then actually that should fit, right? Oh man, it does fit. I didn't know that this would happen, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it this way and then let me just, uh... actually this works better than I expected. Never mind. Not, not, I'm not going to complain, okay? So I'm not going to complain about this. Let me just uh, explore the design a bit more. So for the moment, I'm happy on this side. Let's just be happy on that side too. I don't care if it's a little bit off, but I think it's fine. <coughs> also, sorry for my, my voice. It's really heavy again on the, uh, yeah, on the pollen. Um, even though it did rain for a few days, which was really badly needed on my side but still it really doesn't change too much um, it, it's just a very short effect like I really have to wait until this whole shit is gone and then things get better again but for now it they are not all right so I try to get rid of it now um, I was a bit too uh, annoyed by my own voice and I try to get rid of it now sorry for the little cut here it's not really it wasn't a cut off uh, because of building it was just a cut because I thought it was necessary uh, in terms of my voice. Okay, let's let's do a bit of concrete work quickly. So that should be it. Um, what we need, oops, no, I wanted to stay. Oh, well, I can just do it that way. So three, there you go. One here, wait. Yeah, we move that forward a little bit, even though it is actually bugging in a tad bit. That's not too bad, it's all okay. So we have this generic design in here. I think that's the basic design I want to go for. It's it's all fine. Just going to use a bit of concrete here to just round that off. And in fact, I also want to make sure that this is the gate where the backstage area is connected. Um, and then we're just going to have that one like so. Also get in with a wall in the back here. Uh, it's, that's nice. So all is done. Uh, I think I want to go with the bamboo at the beginning as the entrance pieces. Um, it's going to be here and here. I don't care about the path too much here. Um, it's not really centered, all of that, right? I could try to just move it ever so slightly that it does. Oh, well, it... Okay. It's, it definitely would be better that way. Oh, got my... Hmm. 
Okay, let me just try something else. Can I just move that into a position that it fits? I think it's slightly tilt. This is also the reason why. Um, but I think that would be easier to actually go into this building, separate those two. And then, I mean, I could have just easily started from those things, but well, that would be too easy, right? Um, there we go. Can I? Okay, there is not much room for moving them. I think I need to delete all the path first. This could then make them move. And also I need to exclude that one uh, from the building. Why is that th thing now? Oh, whatever. Um, good, okay, so can I? So it's not really connected and it's going to move. Okay, uh, let's just undo the whole action because that definitely wasn't good. I think I'm gonna keep that like this. Um, we have to cover up the entrance then. It's a pity, but I, I think it's better that way. I don't wanna spend too much time doing that now. Um, but what we can do is the little trick over here with the path. Um, for whatever reason, it creates that again, but yeah. Because then we have these roundish things um, in there as well, uh, which is still one of the best working bugs in the game, which is really useful. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep it that path or we also get rid of it of the uh, weird looking area there. You know what we do? We just bring this one in like so, and this entrance now is a little bit to the left hand side. We will be able to deal with that. I am completely confident, guys. I am confident. Okay, so let's just, oh, we're not even aligned like this. Okay, 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 okay. Don't do this to me. What the hell? Uh, okay, never mind then. I'm just gonna copy. Oh, do I have auto stacking? Wait, what? Why is that like? Okay, now it works. Whatever. I'm gonna take it. I am going to take it. Cool. Okay, so this is the basic design. I'm not gonna do much more about the roof as of now because I first of all want to make sure that we make a nice little front design uh, that we can use all across these things. So therefore I'm going to make like a new building and I'm going to work my way through with plaster and bamboo. It's gonna be, so don't be too excited. <laughs> I want to say don't be too excited, but you can actually be excited, but um, not too much, okay? So I'm gonna use this piece uh, as the as the first thing. I'm gonna make this one a bit more grayish, awesome. And then we are going to work our way from here. Now let's start with bamboo, and I'm gonna use the thin one. Right, I just need to connect this here. Awesome. Let's take the four meter one and just get in with two of them. Mm, and I think I wanna bring this also to the top here, like that. Yep, and now let's go with the thick one. But we can use the four meter one. Our four meter is still okay. So just wanna make sure that there is a bit of a bamboo corner piece in here, awesome. And then we can type in plaster again. Right, this is that, and then just move that into the corner over here so we have the nice transition that's great so I think that's quite okay already for the moment now it's gonna be very interesting to see how that works but I've, I've got an idea now let's say bamboo again I'm gonna use the smallest one here awesome this is going to be stitched into here a little bit uh, and we can try to find ourselves using uh, these texture patterns on here as a guidance and then we just put that in the middle yeah, it should be fine. And now let's go to lights and no bamboo. We just need all of the lights. So I'm I'm gonna use either way these things as light bulbs down here, just connected to this. Um, I, mean, I think I even do this. Like I, I could imagine that this works. I'm gonna make them greenish because that's what it should look from the inside. I think you're just gonna go and do it like that and like this. So we have a bit of that going on here. And uh, I am quite confident that this is already the design I'm going to use. Because I, why why should we go for something else? I think that is just fine. Uh, I'm going to use the same over here later. I'm gonna first of all bring that in. Okay, sorry, okay, whatever. So let's just copy that over again. 
just gonna bring that into this design as soon as I can. But for the moment, oh wait a second, I could just actually just slightly tilt it so it is already kind of fitting in because it it will definitely be a bit finicky to make this align properly. This is definitely not li ni nicely aligned. Mm, sorry for being quiet, but oh, concentrate. Okay, I think that's just okay. And now we need to we need to rotate that one and just bring that all into position with these things. We can just make that a little bit more easy, just like so. And then also bring it over to that one. Just always keep aligning the, the gray stuff here. That should all be fine. And then, whoops, just rotate it all the way around. Nope, I just rotated a bit too much. Okay, so just bring that back in here as well. There you go. And one more time. Here we go. It's nicely connected. It looks kind of cool. Um, with all the green lights, it looks a bit weird at the moment, but it, it should be better in uh, at the end. So don't worry too much about it. So now let's just copy this. And I think it's gonna work that way. I'm just hoping. Yeah, we need to move that a little. No, actually that doesn't work this way. We need to move it one step outwards because otherwise, ah, all right, that doesn't work either way. So if I do it that way, it will always, okay, so I only have that one in play. So the second I move it too much in, yeah, no, these things are exactly too big for it. Okay, well then we just need to work with one single piece, which is okay, but, um, I, I expected something else. Never mind. Just bring that in, align it again, and now these uh, corner pieces really do help us a lot. So they do align quite nicely over here, and you can just get rid of one pillar at the end. Uh, we're going to use this for the moment. Uh, just bring that over here to this side. Just going to quickly do it, uh, and then we are already basically done, and we can get for some animals. How cool is that? That went. A lot more quick than I expected, which is which is great, uh, because these things can turn out to be very finicky indeed. But uh, yeah, no. When you go for a sing single and simple design as I did over here, it's uh, it's quite okay. I, I wouldn't do this for my crazy builds where it's all like super super detailed and trying to get rid of uh, most repetitiveness available. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. And also to round this off, we are going to use a few of the rock pieces in here to. Just make sure that it doesn't look too staged and too simple. Just make sure that you, oh well, I don't know, you, you don't need to follow that, but I just always think that adds a little bit of realism to it, um, as, as real zoos would also do and have some rock patterns in the wall sometimes. Uh, it's not like that every zoo would do this, but some zoos just, just have it in order to make it look a bit more natural. So you can just always, always plop them in. Just use some of these things uh, when you feel like they, they could be used. And I, I tend to have the feeling that this is really something like what you would really see in a, in a reptile slash, uh, I don't know, indoor exhibit house. Okay, but most of it is done. Now, the most important stuff now will be to prepare the house for the people coming and then put on a roof and use some of Haribo stuff indeed. Um, okay, so before we open and hit play again, because I really want to make sure that um, we are prepared, we're going to put in the donations bo donation boxes already. Some to the right, some to the left, just, just here and there. You know, just make sure that we have some stuff going on uh, every, every now and then, just make sure to have those things around. Uh, this one is lacking one and that one too. All right, so this is done. Um, education wise, I think we can only, we can only go so far to have some of the education boards to the outside of the generic ones. Um, these ones over here, one and two, to make sure that we are just kind of hugging the entrance and then we're just going to put down these small things everywhere in these corners. Uh, I think actually these corners help a lot, even though it's just kind of ugly from the pathway, you can really use them for education boards, which is uh, kind of neat indeed. And i uh, also gonna put one here. The other one goes in there. I don't, I wonder if we just need one for each of them, be 
because like the, the reason why I ask or why I kind of ask myself is if if not we can put down even more of those but I think for the moment that's all fine um now I did myself uh, I kind of I, I, I kind of did my, didn't do myself a favor here by putting this one down but I'm going to use the staff path now just just like that yes why not and connect this over here and I think I should be yeah that is awesome and now we can actually go to construction get ourselves a door just gonna use one of these uh, backstage doors over here which is going to be yeah why not use this one let's go there you go so we have the backstage door available you can see how high and how tall these exhibits are I really don't know if I should keep him that high and that tall because it makes the whole building appear taller than it should be um, but then again I mean okay what we could do though we could just select all these pieces all these pieces at once this one not um, that one that one no 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 that one isn't isn't meant to be the right one okay so I think I have them all yep and now I can just drag them all the way down a little bit just make sure that we don't cover too much all right so this is it and then we just lower the roof so much that this actually works and then we also don't have this kind of hidden away because that will look ugly when the people stand too close to it um, also that said we can get rid of these things here they were a nice idea but execution wise that's not too good okay we also have the connection to the backstage area so we can assign a lot of people um, in fact keepers I think I want to have like three keepers for that area maybe two would be enough but I think we just go f we go for three three should be fine um, I could have also put like an information kiosk in here to, to just get some information about these and tours and stuff I don't know I don't know we might do this in the end but not for now uh, let's just kind of finish off the building to the outside just quickly um, where it's needed so definitely needed on this side though but otherwise that looks stupid and then we just we can just about do the roof design already so why not all right okay let's do the roof design and then we just kind of bring the roof uh, to another area do we have anything roundish in here yes we have okay so basically these ones are oh wait we don't even need the roundish ones not at all we can we can use these roofs but you know what I want to go for thatch roof here I want to go for the thatch roofs I think this is the moment where we can basically use these ones even though I like the wait no I, I'm talking stuff that is not needed okay so here we go we can use the normal thatch roof I think this is a good idea and don't worry we're gonna bring in something in the middle here to make it look good uh, just for the moment we're gonna use this is there also like a more flat design I think I'm gonna go with this one why not Let's make sure that the front looks good first of all and then we go from there and build the rest so uh they are sorted in a weird way is that the right tilt yeah it is okay um i think it's fair to say that we only need to build like the the front here so just gonna bring this one in here and that one goes here and then also i just want to make sure that i do use the pieces in the way that they're meant to be used I know that sounds weird especially for me but it is what we need over here so that's it and in terms of of the overall design I think I'm just going to go with this uh, mainly because I feel from over here you cannot really tell too much so this is gonna be this is going to be all the backstage area now okay so this is done you can still have a look in here um, let's just check that and go I think we are going to use just like the proper plaster roof it's gonna be the easiest way of doing it um, and the main reason why I even need to split her from the group anyways is to make sure that I don't have the weird clipping going on um, okay but first of all let's check that we do have the right color and the right height okay so this is not the right height as of now this is the right height and then I think I'm gonna go for like a darkish green tint to make it like a jungle roof okay so really like this let's have a look 
Yeah, that makes sense. It's not like pitch black, but it's uh, exactly the color I wanted to go for. Good. So we can just copy these things over. All over the place. We can just even do it over here. Why not? Well, actually, you know what? I should definitely delete these things in those corners and then use them, the roundish pieces, to cover this up so they are a little bit more hidden away. Awesome. And this is the reason why I split that from the group because now I can just push that a little bit back so you can see nothing is happening over here. Uh, the only little issue we have is these things are not matching up. So this is why I'm going to use that one over there as well. And you know what we also do? I'm just going to push this one one further to the side. I decided to go for a non-parallel build anyway, so we can just do it. Awesome. Is there some Z fighting going on? No, it's not. Okay. So we have this, um, which looks kind of kind of good, though. Okay. You know what we also do? Just, uh, uh, no, wait. Uh, is that like... Okay, so this is going to delete the whole thing. Um, I'm wondering though, like I'm just going to build like a roundish connection. There you go. And this should now be the run thing we needed to do. Okay, that's too big. And now we can also go for exactly the centered approach. Uh, it's going to be here. And then now I can tilt this a little bit so we have the right area and since the game is paused we can also get rid of all the bins we need them we don't need them anymore okay so this is quite okay now before we continue let's just create the roster already for the reptile house um do, 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 do. we go to zoo and then we go to staff and then we go to work zones and we're gonna create a new one how good is that so these things and then all of these things i'm gonna call this reptile house even though it's maybe not even going to be all reptiles but we're gonna see okay so this is pretty okay and then we do need to employ three keepers as i said um no not a caretaker though keeper one keeper two and keeper three let's jump them all to the ground let's let them jump there you go and you are going to go to the wait um it is the Reptile house, reptile house. It is the reptile house and it's the reptile house. People ask me about why, why I'm not doing this over here. I mean, I could have done this with all the keepers, but I'm really trying to make sure to train them as, as quick as possible. And uh, by doing so, oops, uh, by doing so, they are also um, like they, they get a higher. Uh, salary quickly and then it is already the lowest rate you can have so there's like where there is one like there's a need for doing it at the very beginning but since we have already uh, researched everything and it was all quicker uh, anyways I, I could have just said okay you know what I'm just I'm just going with it okay so before we open this and put the animals in I'm going to go back to Haribo again because he provided me with this insane set of plants um, which I'm going to put actually it's so nice I even I even could consider putting that in you know what I'm just leaving that in here it almost looks like it belongs here it's, it's a bit like backstage but it's actually pretty cool so obviously he just made sure to have them all aligned as blueprint uh, and we can just use them in here as hang-in plants how incredibly awesome is that okay it's just like have them all hang I love the design look at I mean Look at that! This is like self-made and it's looking so cool. Okay, let's give me that one as well. Let's hang one in this corner over here and another one just in front of that one thing here. Well, that could be a bit steeper down. And uh, just more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. If people run through it, I couldn't care less to be honest. Um, oops, because they will run through stuff anyways. Just gonna put some bins in place and then whatever it's just the guests okay <laughs> all right so we've done that and um, then he has got these awesome little planters this looks like pineapple right oh yeah it's the pineapple oh that is so clever this is so cleverly done uh, we could put these things into a corner like almost like you have these little planters in this house actually I want to have them tilt to the corner awesome and we just don't care about uh, the people this time okay so we just pretend that this is meant to be that way 
And this is actually pretty awesome now. So we've done most of it. Um, you cannot really tell too much from the building, but I'm now going to do one thing though, which I think will help us. So I think that's what I need. Yeah, no, I mean, just, there, there you go. This is exactly it. And it's a double, double stack over there. And now let's just use that roof. We can just use that again over here. Why not? And color wise, I'm just gonna go with the dark, darker gray. Yeah, no, that's, I think that's fine. Oops, there we go. Just like that. Nope, there you go. Like this, nope. What am I even doing? Like I'm misclicking quite often. I don't know why exactly, but it is happening. So let's just do this, this and this. Awesome, good. So that's um, basically the, the reptile house from its from its design. I mean, it could be better, um, obviously. There's a lot of improvement. Um, do we actually have some backstage roof design? No, guys, if, if you want to do some, that's it. If you want to do some cool stuff uh, for the next episode, do make some some proper roof stuff. I, I do also have this set over here uh, of, of pretty much useful stuff um, from the workshop. It's from Biffa, as you can see. Uh, no, actually, this is a dedication to all the people, which is pretty cool. Some really awesome stuff in here as well. i um, not going to put this down right now. Many pieces. I don't want to create a bit of a disturbance in the force. <laughs> I don't want to do this now. Uh, but some roof pieces uh, would be great, like some, you know, uh, some vents and air conditionings. Because, I, like, I, I always use this one. I always keep using this one aircon unit just to have a bit of like it's not even realism i almost feel like it looks better if you have these things on the roof even if it's just a few it's like really i don't care too much but it's just like it's making the roof at least look like somewhat different okay never mind let's go to exhibit trading and see what's in here um well okay so what we definitely want to have is a boa okay 1000 for a bo the boa 100% boa, yes, of course. Adopt, okay, two boas. I'm gonna use the Brazilian, so I, I think I never had that one. The pink tarantula, I never had that one. We're gonna, we're gonna take this one. Um, wasn't that that with this species, the female is a lot bigger than the male? Anyways, I'm gonna take these two. Okay, so then we are going to take, I wanna take especially some stuff I, basically never had before the golden poison frog i definitely had the green iguana is nice we're gonna take the green iguana it's not like i haven't had this yet but um there you go well sometimes you just need to go for something else um yeah we're gonna take these two two then we have the mexican red knee tarantula right uh, yeah Okay, let's let's go for it. 33%. That's not good. So we're gonna take definitely that one over here because I love it. It's really cool looking. Um, I don't know how many four or five. I don't know how many we we took right now. Um, let's just refresh the list and see what's what's new. We got a yellow anaconda. Let's take that one too. Western diamondback rattlesnake. Okay. So I think for the moment this is about it. This is about it. Uh, there's nothing else in here. I hate that thing, to be honest. I never had that, so maybe this is a reason why we should go for it. Okay, good, we had that. Um, how was it again? Can we just actually click here and get an animal request? Oh, uh, that's easy, pretty much. So I can just say this one and that one, right? Send to zoo. Oh, okay. Well, I should have been, I mean, okay, that didn't change much. Anyway, so boa is the next one. It's going to be here, the boa. And then we have the red-eyed tree frog is going to be here. The, gonna make the iguana site in here. The one iguana and the other the lesser Antillian one goes here. Did I actually, wow, okay. So the Mexican red knee tarantula is going to go in this one. There's one two less. Okay, so we're going for Enrique or Juanita. Um, hmm. 
I don't know. Appeal wise, we're going to go for yellow anaconda. Awesome. Right, we, we filled them all in. Um, and now, oh god, this is going to be insane. We have to fill in all these things. Okay, temperature is a tad bit too high. Just bring that down. And we are bringing the humidity down as well. This is going to be the next thing we do. Next up is that one. This one is not set, it says, but we just need to pretty much click it quickly. So that's it. Next up is our friend, the frog. Just really clicking it quickly because it seems to be all about right. Uh, that one is not right at all. Okay, so just click that one and just bring it all the way down. Not sure how much that is. We will have to double check once I hit play. Same goes for this boy over here. We can actually make this a bit hotter, like 30-ish degrees and bring that down to... Like, is this actually... I cannot really see what that is. Like, it, I, I, I'm guessing like it's 62% around. Like, I'm, I'm not sure, but it, it should be. Uh, yeah, just like, no, bring that down to 30 again. And humidity-wise, just go... Oh wait, it needs to go even higher. Let's say 84. 84% should be fine. And then uh, you are doing not good at all. Uh, let's go to 72 degrees. Humidity goes a bit down. Awesome. So the corridor is a bit nicer. Um, yeah, no, I think that is about it. And now, oh god, this will be interesting in terms of research. I think I'm going to employ two more vets because education wise this is pretty important to do uh, that this goes a bit quicker and also i think we need to put down oh god i i didn't want to expand that quickly anyways but i think it's really necessary to do it and then the episode is way long enough uh, <laughs> who would have guessed right but yeah no some people wish that i don't make cuts in every video so that is why i'm not doing it um we need a research 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 center there you go um, I'm just gonna go for a large one. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's be bold. There you go. Just connect this big, big habitat over there. So we are having... What's going on? Claim reward. Uh, oh, this was an easy one. Easy win. Okay, so before we hit play, we just need to make sure that we have all the animals set to the correct education board because we want our people to find out the right things about these animals uh, and hopefully be very well educated. I think it's actually a good thing about, uh, <laughs> look at those two, they don't really like each other. It's like, nope, I'm not looking at you, nope. The wall is way more beautiful than you are. Nobody, nope, no, 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 no. Not gonna look at you. Okay, so that one, uh, wait, no, I need to. Did I check this now? Yeah, that's the right one. Where's the education board for you? There you go. Uh, yellow anaconda and there you go this is the one with the red torrent you know what we do we just copy that over to the side as well you know it doesn't really matter and we're gonna copy that one over too I feel like it's otherwise so lost in the middle here it's just gonna bring that over uh, you know too many information is not possible okay there's the one I just want to quickly see can we find them all I want to see that tarantula though never saw that in the game I guess um, it's always the same, like, I always keep saying that, but I really tend to ignore these these wonderfully designed little exhibits uh, way too often, even though, well, they, you know, they, they get a bit boring after a while, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily super bad. So, where is this thing? <sighs> mm, let me just quickly check. Wait. Sh shouldn't I be possible? Shouldn't it be possible to see it? It doesn't really change. See it. Uh, okay. So how does it? How does it work again? Uh, I need to. There you go. There's the one. Oh, it's that tiny. Look, but it looks not really nice though. Okay. Look. Wow. Right. Let's hit play. Awesome. Loads of the animals now getting hopefully. Oh, did I hit them all? No, I didn't. So this humidity needs to go even further down. Ah, it's good. So what about you? That's fine. That's fine. Just checking them all. Checking them all. That's all good. All good, all good, all good. 
Now, what about you? That's fine. We we'll just decrease the humidity a tad bit to make it. Uh, oh, the Bengal tiger is about matured. Uh, well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing. It's just going to start fighting then. Uh, that one is pretty fine. That one over here is also pretty fine. And okay, what about you? Yeah, well, we can just decrease the humidity a bit. Awesome. Okay, this is done. One thing we obviously forgot is the pretty much the bins. Bins everywhere. Bins, 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 bins. And put another one here. And I'm gonna put one in that corner. And another one here. Just next to that one. I I mean it's it's quite a lot, but you know the people in Planet Zoo. They just keep throwing the trash to the ground. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, awesome. This is uh, quite a successful... Holy crap. Holy crap. It's like, oh, I don't care about the other animals. Let's just all go to the new reptile house. Holy crap. Okay, guys, little challenge. I need a sign for the reptile house, okay? People sent a sign in. Okay, last things we are going to do. We are just going to put down some tropical plants in front of it. Uh, and then we are good to go. So just to make sure we are having a bit of a surrounding here. Just going to make sure that this doesn't look uh, too open. Because it's still all in a tropical environment here. So we're just going to have a bit more trees going on, right? Because that's definitely what would actually happen in these areas. So yeah, not going to lie. It's just going to... Oh, is it about to rain? And then people would run in there anyways. <laughs> That's actually funny, because rain is... Oh my god. This is a insanely popular area then. I don't know if that was a good idea, guys. Was it a great idea to build this thing? Oh my god. I just don't know. I'm just gonna throw down some, some stuff here. Just randomly placed stuff. But I uh, yeah, again, I just want to make sure that this looks a bit nicer in place here. Just, you know... A little bit okay it, it's it's looking it's looking quite okay to me so yeah no actually it's looking a bit more than okay -ish. it's looking quite picturesque to me and I mean it's 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 mostly also Haribo's uh, fault that this looks good um, but yeah there's definitely a sign missing uh, we definitely need a sign that is uh, the sign of the time oh my god can we just name this episode slightly overcrowded reptile house? These animals must be annoyed AF. Well, they just don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I mean, okay, but still. Holy macaroni bamboni. Uh, let's check the research tab quickly. So, yeah, well, okay. So this one isn't researched. And that one isn't researched either. So we have some of them are researched. So we can go in and give some of them some enrichment. Okay, so this one hasn't been. What about that one? This one hasn't been either. That one hasn't been either. What about this one? Oh God. Yeah, well, that works. Let's just give some rock and some lambs. That one is super amazed now and is super happy. Uh, is that the same for... Yeah, well, that's the same for you. Well, the next next level will come eventually. You don't need your umbrella. I really hope it's only as uh, crazy, 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 crazy uh, favorite at the moment because of the rain. God, I'm, I'm in the roof. Whatever. Right, there you go. And what about you? Oh, I had that one already. Oh, I remember. We had this in Veronkiato too. Okay, whatever. Just make this one more interesting. Good. So is that a money printing machine or is this big? Because actually I don't see the money coming in. Oh, well, now it comes in a bit. So, well, at this point in time, everyone just ran into this building. Is that correct? Am I correct in this assumption? I guess I am. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Completely unnecessary thing, but hey. I mean, the graphics, I like. It's quite okay to have some rain in here um, tropical rain is, is kind of okay to me actually the zoo is developing quite nicely and this is also the reason why I can uh, you know 
very bravely say goodbye now and also have a wonderful time guys i do catch you in the next one which will potentially be already tomorrow i uh, hope you check this out as well and until then have a wonderful time and make sure to check out the other content there's plenty of it online now enjoy your time and your enjoy your thursday and i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye everyone